What we're going to be discussing today is calculating the maximum height of a projectile. Now in order to answer this question, let's imagine that we have a projectile which is fired directly upwards at 5 meters per second. This projectile is going to reach a maximum height, so the speed will gradually be decreasing as it's going upwards and then at some point it's going to reach maximum height this is really crucial but the uh, speed at maximum height is equal to zero then it's going to decelerate back upward back downwards now in order to find the maximum height let's just focus on the motion between those two points so let's say point number one is uh, just the ground or the point at which we're firing this this upwards and point number two is the maximum height in order to solve this uh, i'm just going to write down what i already know so let's have a look at our suvat equations list so s this is what we're looking for we're looking for the maximum height we know that the initial speed is equal to five meters per second now we actually know the final speed as well because every time you throw something upwards at the maximum height the speed is equal to zero so this is really important that the final velocity at maximum height will be equal to zero. The acceleration, in this case, this uh, the gravity is actually doing work against the direction of motion, so it is going to be negative acceleration. In other words, the object is slowing down and, um, and the, the acceleration will be negative g, which is minus 9.81 meters per second. Now, if you look into the formula sheet, you're going to find that the equation v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as will definitely fit the bill for, um, for solving this problem. So let's start substituting some numbers. We know that the final speed is zero. We know that u squared, which is the initial speed is five. So five squared, that's w25 plus two times the acceleration due to earth now we are going against that really so it's going to be minus 9.81 times s so all we need to do really is rearrange for s so what we're going to get is that minus two times 9.81 times s is going to equal minus 25 just bringing the minus 25 over onto the other side really the two minus signs are going to cancel out so what i will be left with if if i was to rearrange for s will be that s will be 25 divided by um, two times 9.81 like so and if I was to put this into a calculator, I'm going to get 1.27 meters for the maximum height of this projectile. Okay guys, now what if I was to fire the same projectile at 5 meters per second, however, now angled at 40 degrees? How will that impact the maximum height of the projectile? Well, what we need to remember is that in projectile motion, the vertical and the horizontal components are completely independent. So all I need to do is find my um, vertical component. So I'm going to use the sine function because sine is opposite of hypotenuse which means that this vertical component is going to be 5.0 multiplied by sine of 40 degrees if you're not quite so sure how i resolve resolve this vector please have a look through my vectors video if you have a browse through the channel so my initial vertical velocity is going to be 5.0 times sine 40 now what I'm going to be doing next is using the exact same procedure I did in the first example. However, rather than using 5 meters per second for the initial speed, what I'm going to use is 5 sine 40 
for the initial speed. In other words, I'm applying the Suvat equations in the vertical direction only. So I'm going to be looking for um, for the maximum height in this case. I know that my initial speed is 5 sine 40 meters per second. We can, we're going to calculate that in a minute. Um, my final velocity will once again be zero. So this is the final vertical velocity. Just to be absolutely clear, I'm just going to leave a little subscript just to show that I'm applying all of these in the y direction. Okay, so we know that my final velocity is zero. We know that my acceleration as well is once again going to be minus 9.81 meters per second squared. The reason for that is because uh, g is acting always vertically downwards as well, so that's fully in the y direction. Okay, now we have those um, four quantities and we're looking for one of them. So we can once again just um, apply this uh, super equation. So v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. This is applied into the y direction, so I'm just going to leave this subscript um, for the velocities and uh, for the distance traveled as well. Okay, now um, so I can start inputting some numbers in. So my final velocity is zero. My initial velocity will be five sine 40. My acceleration is minus 9.81. So I'm gonna put the minus sign here. I'm gonna say that it's minus two times 9.81 multiplied by the displacement traveled in the y direction. So all I need to do now is essentially just rearrange for sy in order to find the correct answer. So let's do that. I'm going to bring minus 2 times 9.81 times sy onto the other side. So that's going to turn into a plus. So it's going to be 2 times 9.81 multiplied by sy and that's going to equal 5 sine of 40 which means that s subscript y is going to equal 5 sine of 40 divided by 2 times 9.81 and uh, let's put that into a scientific calculator so 5 times sine of 40 divided by 2 times 9.81, which is going to give us 0 0.16 meters. So we can see that the maximum height has decreased dramatically, and we have calculated this using the Suvat equations applied into the y direction. Okay, folks, so I hope you've enjoyed this. If there are any questions about this, please feel free to drop a comment down below and consider subscribing.